Okay, this first view of Duplessis and Strickland, we're gonna look at this really nice question mark kick. The reason I like to look at this angle is because it's very good at showing us hip range of motion, especially in the open chain or when the foot is not planted on the ground. Okay, so there's, it's gonna be cut off a little bit over here just because of reasons, okay? So as he starts to rotate his trunk, his hip is already in an abducted position. So he starts to kind of flex the hip and then as he rotates the trunk, it kind of becomes this triplanar motion really quickly. So hip flexion and then abduction, all right, for muscles like the rectus femoris and the iliopsoas and the TFL when it comes to flexion, and then the TFL and glute med when it comes to uh, abduction. So at this question mark kick is really cool because you're, for those of you who don't know what a question mark kick is, you fake low, essentially you fake lower to the body, and then you use kind of the whip of the leg to, to bring it around and come high. But the, the, the common misconception is that that movement is coming from the knee and it's actually coming from the hip. Some of the movement comes from the knee. Uh, you get some tibial rotation there, but most of the movement is coming from the hip. So as he flexes and abducts, he starts to internally rotate the hip with the hip already in several degrees of flexion. And then as it kind of rotates, you can kind of see that rotate along the line of the femur. Okay, so it's kind of this rotational movement with our frame of reference being at the femur. And then he brings it around, that right arm just hanging out there is not enough, and it lands really well. The ankle's nice and plantar flex, he makes contact really well here. So just a really nice view of Duplessis' incredible range of motion and ability to access that range of motion in a fighting situation.